Hi everyone, my name is Adolphine Luca Bushili and I'm the founder of Adolphine Designs based here in the States and back home and also Adolo Services in Kinshasa. So I'm so excited to talk to women entrepreneurs and motivate you all to get going. Starting a business is the toughest part of being an entrepreneur. Um, I've always wanted to do this type of business. I just didn't feel like I had the confidence to do it. My daughter motivated me. My mom was a business owner. She would go to Europe and buy goods and sell it in the markets in Kinshasa. And I've always wanted to follow in her footsteps. So two and a half years ago, I launched my business. You know, there's ups and downs with running a business, especially when you're not based in the home countries. Uh, but technology has been a game changer. And I want to encourage you all to use technology to help you grow, to help you manage your team, or if it's just you for now while you're working with artists or whomever, and to really streamline everything and to sell your products. It's social media is the great equalizer. It takes a lot of time and effort. Um, blogs are a great way to get people to get to know about you and be invested in your brand. YouTube, although it's time consuming to edit, it's also a great way to get people invested in you. And so we've been doing all three. We do blogs, we do social media, we do YouTube. And um, we learn as we go along. There's some mistakes we've made and some pluses. Uh, you try to find a happy formula as you go along, uh, but you just have to try. And the crazy thing about starting a business is you think you're gonna do one thing and then you pivot. So we now have a farm in Lao, about 40 kilometers from Kinshasa. And we have women that work the farm. They're able to get a plot of land and pick whatever vegetables they want to plant and create a team and be able to sell it back in the market um, in addition to our artisans and our fashion side. You know, one of the things that you have to think about when you do business back home is not just what you can get or what the profit is. It's also giving back. And you can never go wrong with agriculture. I think it's a great business. I think it's great for nonprofit. And we just started it basically a month before COVID shut everything down. But the team's been running it really well. And um, I can't wait to see everyone and see how that goes. Another thing we did is that we started a nonprofit and we support um, old people home, Maison de Veillard, and Orphanage. And you get so many great ideas, you learn so much from the children, and it also helps us expand our business. So in conclusion, I really just want you guys to try, keep trying, test different things out, use technology to your advantage, and you know, running a business is tough, but it's also an honor and it's a great thing to be able to do. You're helping the people, you're helping the next generation, you're passing it forward. Other women are able to learn from you, you're able to mentor other people. So I wish you guys all the best and good luck on your endeavors. And here's our social media, here's our information. You can reach out if you have any questions. Ciao. Thank you.